हॅलो स्टुडंट हा एम प्रोफेसर पल्लवी देवकाते वर्किंग ॲज अ असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ॲग्रिकल्चर इकॉनॉमिक्स फ्रॉम कॉलेज ऑफ ॲग्रिकल्चर अँड अलाइड सायन्सेस बारामती स्टुडंट इन दिस फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इकॉन टू फोर टू कोर्स we just discuss about agricultural finance and cooperation syllabus okay so in fourth semester there is one course of economics that is course number econ 242 course title is agricultural finance and cooperation and course credit that is 2 plus 1 that means total three credits for this course okay so in today's lecture we discuss about the syllabus or content of this agricultural finance and cooperation course so first and second lecture of this course is on definition of agricultural finance and public finance then nature scope and meaning and significance of micro and macro finance okay so in this first lecture we studied about definition of agricultural finance then scope of agricultural finance and also we study the micro finance and micro finance in detail okay this is the first and second lecture that is agricultural finance meaning definition scope then second third and fourth lecture it is on need of credit in agriculture it is in need of agricultural credit in which we studied in detail about importance of credit in agriculture okay also in same lecture we covered meaning and definition of credit and also we covered the classification of credit based on time purpose security then lender and borrower that means in this lecture we will study in detail about classification of credit it is different basis of classification that is based on time based on purpose then security on the basis of liquidity on the basis of purpose on the basis of area covered such type of credit classification covered under this course okay after that next lecture that is lecture number 5 and 6 it is on credit analysis okay so under this credit analysis we study economic feasibility test of credit in which first one that is 3 hours of credit in this 3 hours of credit we study in detail that is return to investment second hour that is repayment capacity and third hour that is risk bearing ability okay next lecture number 7 and 8 in this two lecture we will cover five c's of credit analysis okay these five c's of credit analysis covers character capacity capital condition and common sense of borrower that means these five c's was considered by credit analysis after that next one that is seven p's of credit analysis okay so in this seven p's of credit analysis we will learn about principle of productivity principle of productive purpose principle of personality principle of productivity then principle of phase disbursement principle of proper utilization principle of payment and last one that is principle of production 
okay so these are the seven p's of credit analysis also in this same two lecture we will cover the sources of agricultural finance that means different sources of agricultural finance and basically these sources are divided into institutional sources and some one are non institutional sources okay so in this two lecture we covered five c's of credit analysis then seven p's of credit analysis and sources of agricultural credit okay after that lecture number 9th and 10th so in this lecture we will learn methods and mechanics of processing of loan application that means in this lecture we will cover in detail about methods of loan application and different documents and procedures of loan application okay then in lecture number 11 and 12 we covered different repayment plan okay so in this lecture we study about repayment that means what is mean by repayment what is mean by repayment plans and different types of repayment plans okay so there are major six types of repayment plan in that first one lump sum repayment plan second one there is amortized repayment plan and then in this amortized repayment plan there is amortized decreasing repayment plan and amortized even repayment plan next one variable repayment plan then future repayment plan and last one optional repayment plan okay so in this lecture we will cover the different types of repayment plans okay after repayment plans next lecture is on recent trends in agricultural finance social control and nationalization of banks okay it means in lecture number 13 we will cover social control and nationalization of banks in detail okay then in lecture number 14 we will cover banking it means banking and role of banking in modern economy then types of different banks or types of banks then functions of banks that means functions of different commercial bank then central bank and credit creation policy of that particular bank okay so under this 14th lecture we covered banking okay next that is lecture number 15 and 16 this lecture covers lead bank scheme that means under this lead bank scheme we covered origin objectives functions of lead bank scheme also second one that is rrbs regional rural banks also in this rrbs we covered origin of rrbs then objectives functions of rrb okay next lecture that is lecture number 17 and 18 these two lectures cover crop loan system that means definition of crop loan objectives and importance of crop loan system also in this same lecture we will cover the scale of finance that means estimation of scale of finance for term loan as well as for short term loan and last one that is kisan credit card okay so under this kisan credit card we study the objectives of kisan credit card functions of kisan credit card and how this kisan credit card works okay after 17 and 18 lecture next lectures that is lecture number 19 and 20 these lectures based on schemes for financing weak weaker section that means there are different schemes which finance the weaker section so these schemes are first one dir scheme that is differential rate of interest scheme second one irdp that is integrated rural development program then gky that is ganga kalyan yojana 
then एस जी एस वाई दर इज स्वर्ण जयंती ग्राम स्वरोजगार योजना एंड लास्ट वन दर इज सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप ओके सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट स्कीम्स फॉर वीकर सेक्शन ओके नेक्स्ट लेक्चर दर इज लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी टू दिस टू लेक्चर कवर्स क्रॉप इंश्योरेंस ओके दैट मीन्स मीनिंग ऑफ क्रॉप इंश्योरेंस then advantages of crop insurance then progress of crop insurance scheme in india and also limitation of this scheme in application okay also in the same lecture we covered the national agricultural insurance scheme that is nais scheme along with its different salient features and also weather based insurance scheme okay so this lecture number 21 and 22 covers the crop insurance as a whole okay after that next lecture that is lecture number 23 24 and 25 it covers higher financing agencies okay under this higher financing agencies there are different agencies in that first one that is rbi it is reserve bank of india in this rbi we cover origin objectives and functions of rbi second higher financing agency that is nabard that is national bank for agriculture and rural development in same topic we covered the function objectives and activities of nabard then next agency that is ibrd international bank for reconstruction and development then imf international monetary fund then ida international development agency then adb that is asian development bank and last one that is deposit insurance and credit guarantee corporation of india okay so these are the different financing agency higher financing agency then next lecture that is lecture number 26 in this lecture we will cover the cooperation means cooperation meaning scope and importance of cooperation and also different principles of cooperation then next lecture that is lecture number 27 and 28 it covers origin and history of indian cooperative movement that means during pre independence period and post independence period history of cooperative movement okay the next lecture that is lecture number 29 and 30 it covers the shortcoming of indian cooperative movement and its remedies and also recommendation of various committee in development of cooperative credit as well as non credit organization okay then next lecture and last lecture that is lecture number 31 and 32 it will cover classification of cooperative institution that means short term loan providing credit institution and long term loan providing cooperative credit institution in this topic we covered first one that is pacs that is primary agricultural cooperative credit society second one farmers service society then mpcs that is multi purpose cooperative credit society and lamps lamps that is large size adivasi multi purpose cooperative society okay so in this cooperatives we study the objectives and functions of these different institution and also in the same lecture we cover the single window system of cooperative which is of andhra pradesh that is single window system of cooperation okay student so these are the different topics which are covered in econ 242 course title that is agricultural finance and cooperation okay so this is all about first lecture that is 
introduction to agricultural finance that is syllabus of agricultural finance okay thank you all